Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Hope everything in your world is good. Everything here is pretty good. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff that I was debating talking about, but I don't have supplemental footage, I guess. So I don't want to do those things quite yet. One is, um, I think I told you that I have a... Um, miter saw that was given to me by a tool company and I did a review and uh, some project videos with it they've sent me they've since sent me another saw and I was going to do an unboxing here on the show but I've already unboxed it because I needed it this week um, my parents had a back deck and when my dad made it the steps were a little too narrow and um, they were like a little too abrupt and they're getting older, and so when you walked on these steps, it kind of felt like you had to fall forward to get your feet underneath of you. So we needed to cut risers and stuff, or stretchers, or whatever they're called, and, and do a bunch of work on the deck. And so I needed a circuit saw, and that's that, that was the one I have. So I opened it already. So now it's like I want to show it to you, and I want to tell you about it, because I actually enjoyed using it. But um, I need to now need to make some supplemental footage with it. Uh, the other thing is my motorcycle broke. I don't know if I told you this, but last week I was riding to um, the library for a game night. And I went around some right-hand turn and I heard clang, 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 clang. And I was like, what the heck is that? And um, I stopped and looked at things and didn't see anything hanging down or loose. So I got back on the bike and kept riding and the noise wasn't there anymore. When I got to the library and I parked the bike and then I had a chance to really go over it and I just kind of grabbing everything on the rear end and shaking it, which is you know, pretty common way of diagnosing something like that, and discovered uh, two broken spokes on my rear my rear wheel, and all of the rest of the spokes were loose, which was a shock, because I had just changed that tire last summer, so they weren't loose then. Uh, I hit a really large pothole recently that almost threw me off the bike, and maybe that did something, maybe it dented the rim or whatever, or broke a spoke, and then the rest just kind of went from there. I'm not positive, but it's bad. And, um, yeah, I can't ride it. But I looked it up. Um, spokes are about 100 bucks. I've never respoked a rim, and I'm concerned that if it was the pothole, the rim's probably bent. So $100 for spokes. The local machine, the local tire shop place, motorcycle shop, wants $200 to respoke it. So 300 bucks for a rim on a bike that it's only about $59. So I went on eBay and looked and found spares, like not spares, but takeoffs for like 150 bucks. And I thought about it. Uh, and then I thought, well, you know, chances are they're going to have issues also because I did some research and discovered, you know, it's pretty common for these bikes. So long story short, um, I discovered that one of the other style of bikes that Suzuki makes, the rear wheel is the same size and same fitment as this. And they came with a five-spoke mag wheel. So I went ahead and ordered one. Um, and I'm going to put it on. So, I don't know. Is that Does that sort of thing interest you? Do you? Should I put that on? Should I put change that wheel on camera and talk about it? I guess. I mean, it's part of my life. And I know that you guys like hearing about that stuff. But at the same time, I've done other, like, change parts videos before that people just were kind of like, eh. I don't really know, and motorcycles in particular don't, there's not a whole lot of traction just because it's a motorcycle, but it also at the same time might be a decent video just because people who have my bike um, don't know whether this wheel will work or not, so it might be a good thing for that, but I don't know. I don't really have a topic, so I'm just kind of rambling, if that's not obvious, because I didn't prepare. <laughs> As I've been working tonight, I went and finished the deck. That's that's where I've been. I finished up the deck, um, got the steps put in. It's getting ready to thunderstorm. It's late here. Well, it's like 1900, 7 o'clock. It's not super late, but it's late enough that I want to get this done. And, um, you know, I need to take a shower and <sighs> might watch some Game of Thrones and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah. Let me know. Uh, what kind of tool review video would you like to see on the circular stall and do you want me to film uh, changing the tire on the bike or just talking about it's enough
We'll leave it at that. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I appreciate you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Taser, in fact, comes from Wikipedia, is a sand dollar an animal. The term sand dollar, or sea cookie or snapper biscuit in New Zealand, or pansy shell in South Africa, refers to a species of extremely flattened, burrowing sea urchins belonging to the order Clypeasteroidea? Clypeasteroidea. Clypeasteroidea. Roida?